a valet parking at these auctions? Because I'm late. We made it. Hey there, welcome back to Film Trip. On today's episode, we will be talking about 12 Storage Wars lockers that amazed everyone. But before we continue, if you're a fan of Storage Wars, make sure to hit that like button. But also make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated whenever we upload new content. And if you're a new subscriber, let us know by commenting down below, and we will feature you in a later video. And now let's hop straight into the video. Number 12. Dave's Elvis Newspapers Dave Hester has long been known as the villain of Storage Wars, but in spite of everyone's mutual dislike of Hester, there is no doubting his skills in the game, as a savvy player who did well during his time on the program. The best example of his success came all the way back in the first season, when Hester bought a storage unit that was loaded with newspapers. At first it seemed that all Hester had done was purchase a load of outdated papers, but then he discovered that the stash was all from the same day, August 16th, 1977, aka the day Elvis Presley died. The unit ended up being a gold mine, with the plethora of papers all sporting the king of rock and roll's face adding up to a staggering $90,000. While it's no secret that Dave isn't the nicest guy on the show, there's no doubt that he clearly has a good eye for value. Number 11. Kevin Sharktooth Kevin from Storage Wars Miami scored a major payday when he found a 20 million year old fossilized sharktooth in one of his units. The 6.5 inch sharktooth belonged to a megalodon, and much to Kevin's delight, netted him a Jurassic payday thanks to its size and condition. After evaluation, it was discovered that the shark tooth was worth $2,000. This find proved to be among one of Kevin's luckiest and most profitable. Number 10. Rita Ackerman Paintings Daryl Sheets definitely has a knack for sniffing out worthwhile containers. His favorite catch on the show came from the storage container of a famous model. Inside, he found dozens of paintings by modern-day Picasso, Rita Ackerman. With each individual painting valued in the thousands of dollars, you would think Daryl would have immediately jumped at the opportunity to sell them. However, being the art connoisseur that he is, Daryl explained his plan to let the paintings mature, therefore gaining more value. It is no wonder why Daryl managed to amass a huge fortune from storage hunting. Number 9. Brandy and Jared's Furniture Brandy and Jared's most profitable locker came from a unit filled with brand new furniture. As Jared said, everything in the unit was worth money, none of it was trash. At the time of purchasing the locker, the couple were in the process of opening a new store and they decided that they could sell the furniture from the locker at their store. This proved to be a smart move as they priced the furniture anywhere between $300 to $3,500 per piece. Being able to open their new store with all new furniture proved that this was a smart buy. Number 8. Frank Gutierrez Paintings Sheets holds the title of the most valuable storage unit to actually air on television. The gambler stayed true to his nickname, as he invested a hefty $3,600 on a locker solely because he liked the look of some of the artwork inside. The artwork turned out to be all original paintings by Frank Gutierrez. Sheets later found out that the unit actually belonged to Gutierrez himself. Much to everyone's disbelief, the lot turned out to be valued at more than $300,000. Despite the skepticism, Sheets said he spoke with Gutierrez and was nice enough to return some of the artist's personal items. Just not the thousands of dollars worth of artwork. Number 7. Barry's Creepy Statue Barry Weiss came through in a big way during Season 2, when he showed up late to an auction and quickly bought what appeared to be a worthless locker with a couch and a few odds and ends, all for a seemingly overpriced $1,525. But in this case, the collector knew what he was doing. He had spotted a small box tucked away in the back with something that he absolutely needed to investigate. It turned out to be a creepy sculpture of a wooden bust with real inset dentures and glass eyes, along with a window in the back of its head that revealed an entire scene taking place inside the statue's brain. The rather odd piece turned out to be a bit of a collector's item and was valued at $6,000. The only problem? Barry was too enamored of the strange bust to even consider selling it, and ended up keeping it for himself. Number 6. 
Daryl Sheets, Holy Grail Daryl Sheets rightfully earned his nickname, The Gambler, since he is always taking huge risks that many of the other bidders are not willing to. He proved his luck when he invested $2,700 into getting a storage locker and soon discovering that every penny was worth it. The unit could only be termed as comic book gold, as it was stuffed to the brim with mint condition comic book memorabilia. Daryl fittingly dubbed the locker the Holy Grail of Toys, as it contained an endless supply of G.I. Joes, Hot Wheels, and a whole host of other collectible dolls and toys, in addition to an absolutely massive collection of comics valued at $10 a piece. The unit's worth kept rising as Sheets tallied up the mountain of collectibles, finally settling on a grand total that topped $90,000. This find proved that sometimes the gamble is worth it. Number 5. Barry's Piano Fan favorite Barry Weiss proved he was more than just a storage hobbyist when he made an exciting discovery in the first season. The retired antique collector was always entertaining to watch as he made his bids, took his chances, and often fell flat on his face. However, this time, Barry's oddball instincts made him a nice $11,625 profit. In the episode, a seemingly random locker was opened up that seemed to be filled with nothing more than beauty salon paraphernalia. Apparently dead set on opening up his own barbershop, Y snapped up the unit for a mere $275. When he got inside, though, he was pleasantly surprised to find a 1928 Marshall and Wendell piano among the hair supplies, valued between $10,000 and $12,000, netting Weiss a nice profit of $11,625. Not a bad haul, and certainly one of the cheapest deals on the list. Number 4. Renee's Video Game Collection in another huge find for Rene Nezoda, Season 10 saw the bargain hunter land a locker for a relatively low price of $1,500. Inside the unit, Rene found video games, video games, and still more video games. The monstrous collection was huge, filling up the entire storage unit and was clearly assembled by a collector who knew their stuff. Throughout the very long process of adding up the seemingly endless collection of vintage entertainment pieces, it quickly became clear that this wasn't just a massive pile of surplus. With no duplicates in the mix, the dusty pile of memorabilia contained everything from rare Sega Genesis games to a copy of the NES game Bubble Bobble Part 2 that was worth several hundred dollars on its own. The whole collection, once it had been painstakingly counted up, was worth upwards of $50,000 making it Renee's favorite find of all time, and proving that retro video games are serious business. Number 3. Ricky and Bubba's Gold Gun In the Storage Wars Texas episode Raiders of the Lost Arcana, Ricky and Bubba were excited to have found an antique gold gun. Upon bringing the gun to an appraiser, the duo learned that it was a Colt 1849, dated back to the 1860s. The gun featured a faint engraving on the cylinder that depicted a Texas Ranger and Indian fight scene. The 150-year-old gun ended up being valued at about $25,000, thanks to its model and age. Number 2. Brandy and Jared's Toy Trove While Brandy, Passante, and Jared Schulz were definitely the underdogs of the show, they were also the hard-working rookies who didn't employ manipulative tactics like the other bidders. We're looking at you, Dave Hester! While the couple usually end up losing more money than they gain, that wasn't always the case. After storage shark Hester tried to sabotage the couple by driving up the price, they managed to win a unit for $1,700 and found around $13,000 worth of classic toys inside. Not bad for the underdogs. Number 1. Renee's Museum Locker Rene Nezoda and his wife Casey scored big in Season 6 with a unit that can be best be described as a small museum. The couple discovered an endless collection of high-valued pieces that ranged from a beautiful grandfather clock in mint condition, oiled canvas paintings worth up to $8,000 each, and even a set of Baroque by Wallace collectible silver that was easily worth at least two grand. The collection also included various pictures, model ships, artistic flower pots, and statues from places as distant as Africa and Asia. In the end, the couple's once in a blue moon haul was worth over $50,000. Hey, you made it all the way through. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, drop a like. Also, comment down below which find you thought was the most amazing. 
And don't forget to share us around, we'd much appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, you know the whole drill. From all of us here at Film Trip, we hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.